Hello. I'd like to introduce you to another martial skill. I won't call it a complete martial art, but um, this is something that goes back for me until <laughs> my fourth grade. The tool of choice today used to be a child's toy, and this is a pellet gun. But all the principles of shooting a gun or a rifle can be embodied in this. Once you learn to shoot this, you can shoot anything. All safety precautions must be followed. All safety precautions. The just fact that this is a pellet gun, it shoots a pellet at the speed of a 22. It is, has, has a rifle barrel on it and it's extremely, extremely dangerous. Never point a weapon at anyone. Never sit back and play games with it. Don't allow others to. But I'm just going to give you some basic principles of quick shooting. All right? And this is something I have not done in years. I have not picked up a weapon in several years. Uh, but I'm just, again, trying to show you how quickly the skills can be uh, acquired and they carry through and you don't need years and years and years of practice in order to get it down but you need years and years of practice my strongest suggestion to any of you would be get yourself an instructor get yourself a coach and that's true for anything that I've been talking about any skill it doesn't matter whether you're practicing an individual sport or it's a team sport you always have a coach you have a trainer you have an advisor Certainly with a weapon, I suggest the same. If you buy a weapon, and it doesn't matter whether it's a pellet gun, a shotgun, a rifle, a handgun, have someone teach you all of safety rules and requirements as well as monitor very closely your initial stages of shooting. So again, this is just a pellet gun, um, but again, still very lethal. So. I want you to look down that rifle barrel and you'll see a rear sight and a front sight. Remember, this is the very, very quick version. What you want to do is to line up this front sight in this little notch on this rifle. Okay? Now, as I load and I shoot, <laughs> that seemed too easy and not real. Let's try it again. I would also suggest you must have safety glasses. And if it's an actual um, weapon, you would also have headphones or earplugs, earplugs, okay, to dampen the noise because you can lose your hearing again. So as I add pressure, here. I'm not only using a small amount of pressure uh, because I want to reduce the amount of distance of the travel of the gun. Again, I'm going to line up this rear sight and this front sight and this just goes in here. So, going toward the white pot. You can see the accuracy or a lot thereof, hopefully, <laughs> with the holes here. Okay. Now, what I'm proposing, I'm going to turn those holes around, is something even a little bit more radical, which doesn't require all of the technique and training and stuff, not as much, which is quite simply. You don't take aim. You don't have to worry about the front sight, rear sight, windage, or elevation. And that is quite simply, you just point 
if you can see this, point and shoot. Whoops. know if you could see it but again the idea here is quite simply all I'm going to do instead of aiming and all that other stuff bring the you can focus on me bring the, the, uh, the weapon up from here quickly and just fire <laughs> again this is not aiming at all Take your time and make sure that your <coughs> pellets are in there. I think my gun just broke. So, again, this doesn't involve aiming, target acquisition. It's just a matter of point and shoot. As simple as that. Point and shoot. Any questions, go to Dr. Google. Find yourself a very good teacher. This is all about and only about self-defense. This is not mastering it <coughs> that's not going to happen in such a short order <coughs> so here you might only be able to hear the effect again this is not aiming not a lot of sight acquisition or anything else Hopefully, with this miserable system, you can hear it. So, again, I'm here, I'm tossing. <laughs> My camera person is having a little trouble keeping up with this. Try it once more from here. Moses, <laughs> what do you think of that? Pretty bad, huh? <laughs> anyway. Remember, be very careful with any weapon. I would not advise this for children, certainly not for them to be taken out of the house without adult supervision. Must be an adult there imbue them whatever need whatever is necessary about the danger of this but it can be used for good it can be all right take care